Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at ways that you can join paths in Illustrator and particularly looking at some of the limitations of the join tool and what you could use instead. So I have a series of lines here and these purplish ones are all the same set of lines. This one's a different one and we're going to see why I've created those in a minute. So one of the ways that you can join things together in Illustrator is to select over the lines that you want to join and go to the join tool. Now it shares a toolbar position here with the shaper tool, pencil, smooth, path eraser tool and here is the join tool. It was new I believe in Illustrator CC 2014. With this tool you can just scrub over the lines that you want to join and what happens is that you get a pointy end on them. You can see that this line and this line have been extended quite high and they have been joined into a point. Now this tool breaks down and it's not really clear as to why or when it breaks down but let's join these two lines or attempt to because it's not going to work. With the join tool I can scrub over these lines and it just won't work. There's a point at which you can get them close enough that they will work but there's no information that I can find on the internet as to how close they need to be. So lines need to be fairly close for the join tool itself to work. Now you can also use the join command so let's just select over these lines and we'll go to object path and then join. And what happens here is that the two closest points to each other are joined by a line. So you can see that the result of the join tool and join command are two completely different things. This one's got these two lines and this one's added a third line if you like. Now with the join command you can also go one further and join these bottom areas here. So we'll go to object path join and you can see that now we have a four-sided figure. So again this tool works very very differently to the join tool over here. Now if you wanted to join these two lines together but you want this point and this point to be in exactly the same place, one of the things that you can do is go to the direct selection tool, this white arrow tool, and just select over the two top anchor points. Now if we go to object path and then average we can specify that these two points are moved so that they're in the average position. They're going to be averaged out vertically and horizontally. So they're both going to in effect join but loosely. They're not actually going to be joined but they're going to be positioned at about this point. So I'm selecting both here and I'll click OK. Now we still have two lines. You need to be really clear about that is that this is a separate line. But since we've now positioned these two anchor points directly in the same place, now if we select over this line and go to object path join, we're going to get a single anchor point. So we're going to get sort of the same result as we got here, but in actual fact in this case the lines are just joined where they are rather than extended. Now you can also join using the pen tool. Again we're going to select over both of these lines and we'll go to the pen tool. Now if we hover over this anchor point you can see that at the bottom right of this cursor is a forward slash. Here it's an asterisk, here it's a forward slash. Forward slash means you're picking up this point. So I can click here and then I could come over here and this time I'm looking for a circle. So when I'm hovering over the anchor point and about to join it together it will be a circle. And I can click here and now I have a shape. And again this is going to be very similar to this one. Now let me just undo that, make sure that I've got these two lines selected, go back to the pen tool because there's something the pen tool will do that the other tools won't. And that is I can pick this up and make a curve out of it. So I'm just going to look for that forward slash for the cursor. I'm going to click and drag and then I'm going to again look for the circle and click and drag and that's allowing me to create a curved point. So I can go back then to the direct selection tool and I've got anchors here that I can adjust the curve. So adding a curve, probably the pen tool is your better choice of tools. Be aware that if you use this join tool new in Illustrator CC 2014 that you're going to get an extension of these lines. They go up quite a long way before they're joined together. The average and join command is going to give you this re result. The join command itself will give you this result. So everything is very very different. And so knowing these tools and knowing how they behave is going to make things a little bit easier for you. Now there is also something to be aware of with the join tool itself. Let me just go and create another couple of lines here. When I use the join tool, I'm just going to select over my lines. 
when I use the join tool, it can operate like a join and crop tool. So if I just scrub over here, you'll see that we join the two lines together, but the top bits that were there have been removed. So that also is a handy application of the join tool, doesn't happen with these other tools. Before we finish this video, I have more Illustrator training at Skillshare.com. When you sign up for Skillshare, you'll get access to thousands of classes there, including over 250 of mine. In the description below is a Skillshare coupon for you, which is at least as good as the current Skillshare offer and typically mine will be better. I also have Illustrator training at Udemy.com and there is a referral link for each one of these courses in the description below. Please feel free to share these with family, friends and co-workers. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned things about Illustrator of which you were unaware. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.